Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a beautiful pre-sunrise weekday here at Westside Collector Car Storage. I've got the 2021 Mustang Mach-E, and Ford says that this model I'm testing with the big extended battery and all-wheel drive should be able to do 270 miles on a charge. Here at Westside, we have level two chargers, and this thing's been juicing up all night, so it is overflowing with electrons. And today, I'm gonna test that claim. Can I go 270 miles, or thereabouts, on a Mach-E? Let's hit the road. All right, guys, let's get out of here. So my phone is the key, so we will turn the car on, not get dinged for violation of the musical morality. Now, about this trip odometer. Let's see, uh, trips. This trip, zero miles. Let's just, let's do a reset of trip one. Zero miles. Climate control, 71 degrees. We will not sacrifice our comfort on this journey. Uh, I've been driving this car around the city for six days, and so it says on its estimated range meter that uh, we've got 237 miles, not the 270 that uh, Ford says this will do. But I imagine that uh, this is literally just because of uh, my urban driving and the fact that I've been using a lot of the go pedal. And so I'm gonna be very gentle with the pedal on this trip hopefully yielding uh, a good range. And the point of this isn't to see how far I can go hypermiling. The point of this is to see what is the real world range of the Mach-E. So the plan is to drive uh, northwest up the 101 towards Santa Barbara. Uh, I don't feel like driving up a giant mountain up the five freeway. That's, that's probably not good for efficiency and it's boring. And I don't wanna go to Palm Springs again because uh, my friend that I can visit is not in Palm Springs. So we're gonna go to Santa Barbara, up the 405 freeway to the 101 north slash west, and uh, go probably past Santa Barbara to Gaviota State Park, and then we'll uh, flip around and uh, you know come back from there. So I'll catch up with you on the road. All right, guys. It's not been very long, very low sample size. It's been two miles since I left the shop, but my range has dropped by seven miles, and I'm just going 55 on the highway here. I'm gonna get in the carpool lane. I don't have a sticker on this thing, but it's, can I go in the carpool lane? I feel like I can. I'm gonna assume I can. I'm gonna assume I can, but the bottom line is, so far in the early stages, Range is dropping faster than distance. We'll keep an eye on it. Guys, when you're charging your electric vehicle, oftentimes the stations are in the middle of nowhere. You gotta be ready. That's why I keep a built bar in the car. These guys make the most delicious protein bar. That legit, that tastes like a Milky Way. Like straight up, that tastes like a Milky Way. Knife bridge chocolate, very tasty. None of that nasty powdery taste you get with a protein bar usually. They're only 130 calories, a lot of protein, great macros, not terrible for you. Throw a box in the trunk for when I'm filming, I'm in the mountains, or if you're sitting here waiting for your EV to charge. And you want to get some of these, it's got kind of a marshmallowy thing happening in there too, it's good. You want to get some of these, hit the link in the description, code TST, Got a special deal for you. There's so many different flavors. This cookies and cream one is a bomb. I'm really into this one. Great for energy. Now, eventually I'll get out of here and make this video. minutes into our drive we are passing through Oxnard uh, and 
I've gone through 20% of the battery. It's indicating 80% remaining. Now, I've traveled 55 miles. So if you do that math out, it gets you to 275 miles if I run this thing to zero. So that's promising. Things are looking up. It took about 55 miles of driving to adjust itself from my urban estimate of 240 to what I think will be over 270. So promising so far. Uh, the car is comfortable. It is quiet. I'm listening to podcasts. And my strategy is incredibly simple because I'm not trying to do some hyper miley thing. I'm trying to find out how far you guys could go if you just got in the car and started driving like a normal person. My strategy is to set the cruise control, the radar cruise control, at exactly 72, uh, 72 miles an hour and then to sit in the middle lane until someone goes so slow that I have to pass them and then go back into the middle lane. That's pretty much it. Drive like a regular, relaxed human being and see how far the car will go. Catch up in a bit. Well, boys and girls, boys, who am I kidding? Uh, we have made it to Gaviota State Beach. It's beautiful here, beautiful day for a drive, and I had a totally uneventful drive, which is good. We arrive here with, in theory, 126 miles of range remaining, and we've covered 124 miles. So, the question is, will we get more than 250 out of it? It's already added 10 to where it was when we left the shop. So I think I can add another 10 on the way back, which I think will work out quite nicely. Let's see the ocean before we flip around and head home. Uh, well, I was going to go look at the ocean, uh, and I just got kicked out. Uh, they said that uh, the sign said no camping. Campground closed. I'm not camping. I'm just going to stop and look at the ocean. You can't even do that, they said, uh, because of the pandemic. Me and that guard were literally the only people here. So I guess uh, we will just uh, look at the ocean on the way home. We've got 54% uh, charge. And we've got 124 miles to get back to the shop. Now, I might add some at the end to get us closer to the uh, 270 if it comes down to it. So, the, uh, I guess, residents, the residents of, of this uh, campground don't want us... Here, so here's the edge of the campground, and here's us leaving. It's a good rule, I think, really. Yeah. It's nice that it's applied evenly in all situations. All right, guys, I thought of a plan. Uh, rather than just about facing and going the exact same route I came back to the shop, which it's, it started and ended at sea level. It reasons to assume the car would be exactly equally as efficient on the way back. What would that tell us? Not much. So instead of going back on the freeway all the way, I'm going to ditch off at Oxnard and take PCH uh, all the way back into Los Angeles. Okay, so that has some traffic lights, some areas with lower speed limits, possibly some actual traffic. Not to mention I can stop at Bill's and get a sandwich. And that calculation offers us a little more, quote, real world mixed use uh, range. And if we did that math, which we do, it's in the GPS right now, from here to Bill's, 96 miles, our remaining range is 113 miles. From Bill's to the shop is 17 miles like that literally puts us like it at, at zero pretty much so we're gonna find out 
uh, if I've got enough left when we get to Bill's to even get back to the shop. I hope so. We've got 33 miles to Bills this way, but our efficiency is going to change a little bit because there's some traffic lights and some stop and go, but we've got 58 miles of charge. So it is possible that if the efficiency holds up, I can get to Bills, get a breakfast sandwich, and then make it back to the shop without having to fill up. kitchen really called the Malibu kitchen only I call it bills and spike uh, we have uh, oh boy let me cancel this and go back to our trip we have traveled 227 miles in three hours and 38 minutes we have 28 miles remaining uh, on this charge and Let's see, if we park, if we park and we go to, this is, this lady better not back into me. Do we have West Side Collector car storage? Do we have it? What do you think? Does it exist? What if I put the zip code? 90230. Come on, pre-production GPS. I'm pretty sure it's less than 28 miles. I feel like it's about, oh, can you not find it? Wah, wah, it can't find it. Type in the address. There we go. 17 miles as the crow flies, 20 miles to drive it. So it looks like after I have a sandwich and a coffee, we're gonna be able to make it uh, back to the shop on one charge. And uh, that we can call a little test. So, we'll see you in a few after we get a snack going on. Well, nice little sandwich. Nice little giant oatmeal raisin cookie, because you gotta get that. Nice little hand sanitize. And should be, ooh, low battery warning, 11%, 28 miles of range remaining. But the good news, folks, is that we only have 20 miles to the shop. 20 miles to the shop. So, let's take a little uh, relaxing drive back and see how close we can get. pull back up to west side i don't even know if you can see zach in the frame but i was so confident on my way back from bills that i stopped to pick up uh zach right lane, yay and so we have arrived in in just about a couple of hundred yards here back from whence i came big hole in the road there you gotta literally drive into the oncoming traffic to avoid right, the biggest pothole ever around the corner from my shop Okay, you have arrived at Westside Collector Car Storage on one charge 
what up, bitch? I have created an arbitrary game, and I have won it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are men. This is what we do. Yeah. You must make up a game, and then you must win it. <laughs> but think about how many games I've made up and then lost. <laughs> there has been a bunch. Let's look at trip one. Trip one indicates that we traveled 248 miles in four hours and 15 minutes. Uh, we went 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour. Where did my energy go? My energy went 81% uh, to driving, 9% to climate use. <laughs> Presumably that's the climate of the car, not the climate of the globe. 9% <laughs> for being a shitty person. 4% uh, to accessories. Uh, I guess that's a radio. And then 6% to exterior temp. What do we think that is? That's a great question. I don't know what that is. It you... maintains our exterior temperature. And look here, how my driving is. Um, I, I imagine that's good. None of these bars are like red or anything. Like if you go into, yeah, I, I, I don't, well, I don't know. Green is usually good. I don't, well, I don't, it couldn't have been that bad. How bad could it have been? I think you spent 11% of your time at speed. Oh, that, oh, right. Yeah. Time. Oh, those are things yeah. I was doing. See, how's my driving to me implies somehow the quality of my driving, right. not what was I doing during that time. You missed a few apexes. And yeah. That's what it's saying. <laughs> yeah. And the bottom, and I have nine miles left. So we have calculated uh, a, 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 a not even trying range, usable functional range of this car of about 255 to miles. That's highway with some light, a little bit of light to light. That's climate comfortable, crew, radar cruise basically the whole time at 73 miles an hour or you know five to seven above the speed limit, comfortable cruise. But otherwise, other than that, not trying at all. Just get in the car and drive. And so Ford on the window sticker, estimated 170. We don't have an EPA range yet. It's still uh, early in the year. But, I mean, I'm totally uh, satisfied with the level of range that I got out of this vehicle and how the, um, I mean, when I left, it, it indicated when I pulled out of here, 240 range, and we obviously were able to beat that. Um, so that that's worked out, it's good. It's good. Watch me and Zach's uh, dynamic driving review. We'll link that here. Thanks for joining us, and uh, I'll see you later. And remember, always fight your tickets. Use code TST10 on the Off the Record app available in the Android and iOS store, or go to offtherecord.com TST.